Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a very uh, different kind of video. Although I'm very excited for this video, um, essentially this whole video is spurred on by the comment that I've got over at Discord um, in our workouts tab, or workout tab, um, but it was essentially someone asking me um, what is the best workout to burn calories but also to get rid of uh, stomach fat. Now unfortunately that's not how it works more or less, um, you can't burn out off a specific muscle, like say, so if you have fatty arms, um, like a lot of meat underneath the backside of your, your, uh, your arm, um, there is no specific way to burn off that kind of muscle, but the good news is that there is ways to, it's kind of like re-rolling a character, uh, so you can, you can keep trying and maybe you will lose fat in the place that you want one of these times around of dieting or, or cardio burning and all those kinds of things. So there is some sort of causality, there's hope for you but it's just a long journey to kind of start. But I will say, uh, there are some exercises, for instance, that do tone or activate that muscle, therefore they are better than nothing. Uh, so for instance, if you were to do running and maybe even rowing, uh, they don't affect stomach muscle too much, um, but if you were to do something like jumping rope, which has you activating your core system and holding your, your central nervous system tight as you're, as you're skipping, um, that is going to activate those, that muscle so that you will be gaining strength, pushing that those abs or whatever outside of your, your body more than you would about doing a, a type of cardio that wouldn't promote that activation of that muscle at all. Now, there is something that I've actually been really wanting to test, um, and it's a theory that I have that could be completely without any merit, um, but I really want to test it. Um, and it's essentially the idea that there's this magical exercise <laughs> called kettlebell swings, which just by doing like a, a one rep can jack up your heart rate to 80%, 80% of your max heart rate, uh, that nice gold orange area. Um, now the reason why that's so good, if I'm not mistaken, is because it promotes um, the highest form of calorie burning and um, cardio, I think. If I'm not mistaken, please check me on that if I'm incorrect. So I had the idea of a lot of the times when you're doing cardio, there's this lot of dead space um, when you're first starting, because you're just starting to run and your, your heart's basically pacing itself. And then finally when you break sweat and you're able to get into a full sprint, then your heart's firing and it's, it's, it's hopefully at 70 or 80% of its max heart rate. Um, but if you do those kettlebell swings, you get there by default. So my theory is what happens if we just try that in itself? Um, we try doing a cardio that is fantastic, which we'll talk about in a minute, but we also couple that with doing kettlebell swings in between our rest periods, um, which don't exact, well no, they kind of use the same similar muscle, but still. Would you be able to like throw away the like 20 to 30 minute warm up that would take to get you into like the peak calorie burning mode by just doing kettlebell swings and getting that activated. Also, um, you're not only getting uh, the calorie burning from doing a cardio exercise, but you're getting the muscle breakdown of one of the biggest muscles in your body, which is your legs and your, and your calves and whatnot. Um, so you're, and a lot of people don't, they, they shit on uh, the, the, the calories you, I should take it off, <laughs> um, the calories you lose from, from working out um, with weights. Um, but the only thing that you need to know about that, which is something that's oftentimes lost, when you start doing cardio, you're burning weight for that entire time you're doing cardio. Uh, but then as soon as you stop, you more or less stop burning calories. But if you fatigue the muscle, you, you, you go into the point where you thoroughly use that muscle and you lift heavy weight, you break that muscle down, over the course of your entire day and potentially your night, it'll be using protein and calories to help piece that muscle back together. Um, so it's, it's worth doing both. Um, especially kettlebell swings that are, if you know how to do them and you've got your form down, are really easy to do. They jack up your heart rate, they make you feel great, they make you feel warm and hot, but not the bad kind of hot. Um, and yes, the only things I'm gonna be using, by the way, um, is going to be a, um, a coffee and some water. That's the only thing I'm gonna be using as energy. The other thing is I don't have it on me right now, but I will be using my, my oldest shit, uh, Apple Watch. Uh, that I got when it first came out because I love the tech so much. But anyways, um, I, it has a calorie burning setting there, but it doesn't have any for jump rope, which is what we're going to be doing. Uh, so hopefully that reads somewhat accurately. Again, this is also something that like a, if anyone wants to try try this out, uh, this combination can get back to me because body types may vary, data may vary, and I would love to get on this if this happens to be a decent calorie burning system. So we're gonna go for one hour, and our cardio of choice is going to be skipping. Now why skipping? Uh, skipping apparently is two times better than running, um, or like jogging and, and moving on a treadmill. Um, but, and that, and that is with, and, I'm, and if I'm not mistaken, that is accounting for your rest period. So I think you're supposed to skip row for one, at one minute, 
give it a bit, one minute, give it a bit, uh, until you're ready to go on to the next thing. Now with that being said, I want to make this workout as neutral as I possibly can. Now what I mean by, what I mean by that? Um, essentially, I want to basically make it so that I am not going to 90%. Uh, so I'm not going to be doing kettlebell swings till I'm dead. I'm just going to be doing it to where I feel my heart rate accelerate to 80%, and I'm in this like nice talking period kind of place, talk test and all that. But also, when I get to my skipping rope, a lot of times when you're doing it, your calves can burn out like fast. Uh, so I will be doing my best to pace myself and not burn out my calves. Or if I need to take a break and take some uh, rounds of walking, I'm going to do that. I want this to be a, a, stain a sustainable thing, uh, like a good representation. Now, also, I've been exercising for four or five years. Um, so, um, I, am all, I also waited to do this when I am at my absolute weakest. Um, currently, it is Saturday, and um, I exercise Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so I am, my body's super fatigued, I don't have that much wind in my sail, uh, and I thought it'd be the perfect kind of representation for, for, for a person who's maybe not as athletic or whatever, hasn't been doing athletic stuff for that long to get into it. Um, also, I, I'm not that great at jumping rope. I started, uh, I've done it four times in total, um, and I'm doing it barefoot because I want to learn fast, and getting a smack on the foot real hard is a good way of learning because it hurts like bloody murder. Uh, and you want to make sure you're not going to get hit by that, so your rhythm is going to be getting better just by virtue of you not wanting to get hit. Um, but yes, I'll just be showing you guys periodically me doing it, my sets uh, throughout the course. I may update you guys on how I'm feeling. Um, and yes, let, let us begin. This is just a test, basically, uh, that I want to see about how much calories can you burn um, in an hour while doing a combination of kettlebell swings and um, a jump rope. Also, we're not going to be able to really account for the entire calorie burning because, again, it is a weightlifting exercise, the kettlebell swings, which happens throughout the course of the day, of uh, how much calories you burn with that in mind. Uh, yes. Anyways, regardless, thank you guys so much for your time, and let's get into it. Just clips are going to be happening. I may talk over it. Who knows what happens in editing land. Let's begin. By the way, we forgot to do stretching, which is hell of important. Uh, this is my set. Again, a moment of weirdness and awkwardness for a week of not feeling shredded because your muscle got torn. Do it. Let's begin. Ah, uh, yeah, so let's not dwell on this too much. We're going to start with this, which straightens up my back, also gets my hips loose. We're going to do some presses so our muscles are a little bit activated all around, forward, back, up, down, all that good stuff. Then we're going to do our arm stretch. Then we're going to do touch our toes to stretch out our back as well as our, our hips and whatnot. And then we're going to do the whole downward facing dog situation because it helps uh, align your hips and stretch out your back. And it's all around just a fantastic exercise, albeit look a little silly. Uh, yes, of all that stuff. And done. Cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as you guys can see, uh, we are going to choose other. Now, I really want to do a redemption video of this, but we will get into the, the average person burning calories, which holy shit, this kettlebell swings supposedly burn a fuck ton of calories. Regardless. Um, yeah, I want to get a, like a, a Fitbit or something, or maybe someone out there does have a Fitbit and also has a like an app that allows you to track skipping, because that's a giant difference. And I'll talk about this towards the very end, about like how the math and that just doesn't really add up. Um, but I will go over at some point the basically the uh, Harvard or whatever statistical analysis of the average person doing an hour of skipping and an hour of kettlebell swings. Um, and holy moly, do kettlebell swings like rip apart calorie breakdown? Jesus Christ! Anyways, moving on. Uh, yes, later in the video at some point. Right now, swing, my dude. Well, now we're skipping. Okay. Uh, well, so this is the perfect time to break down why the fuck I love skipping so much, and it's just my it's it overnight turned into my favorite exercise or cardio kind of exercise ever um, because it is mad entertaining. My second favorite cardio is, is rowing uh, just because it's kind of nice, methodical. Also, my, my favorite types of cardio promote breathing um, and are not very joint brutal. Um, in fact, sometimes they promote joint stretch, which is nice, like rowing and whatnot and skipping kind of does that too. But the reason why I love skipping so much, and I would highly advise people to give it a try because it is so, so fun, um, is because not only does it apply like a rhythmic thing, so if you like to listen to music while you're rowing, or not rowing, sorry, you're skipping, it's fantastic. Oh, my forearms are burnt out from the other workouts I did this week. <laughs> I'm already making excuses. Anywho, uh, like I was saying, uh, me, uh, but uh, what do you call it? Basically, the other thing that I love about skipping is that it promotes such amazing breathing because you're basically, ha especially if you're doing it the right way, you're doing it with this kind of form that I have. 
um, and you're trying to do as little movement as you possibly can. Uh, and again, because your arms are so expanded and your chest is basically leading as you jump, um, the breathing that you get for this is so, so amazing. And you just feel like your oxygen pipes are, are, are ready to go. Also, you're trying to uh, keep your core and your back and all your muscles activated, uh, like sturdy. Um, and yeah, that, that to me is just an absolutely wonderful uh, breathing kind of exercise cardio thing. Again, I highly advise it. Also, again, it's fun because it's rhythmic, all that good stuff. Um, and this is essentially, ladies and gentlemen, what we're just doing. We're just pinging off without very little cool down. Again, if I need a cool down, uh, then I will give myself one. But uh, right now, I haven't found myself being exerted and exhausted, so I just haven't done it yet. But I will at some point when we get a little bit deeper in. I'm like, all right, I could use a minute to just pace and walk. I haven't skipped over that long. Also, one of the things I would highly suggest um, is when it comes to your leg, like eventually you'll do skipping and your, your leg will get locked up. Do a high kick or a high knee, which is basically hold your hand like this and then keep your back straight as well as your, your hips straight and then knee your, your upper part of your, uh, your hand. Now, you don't want to, now keep, now keep your foot bent down when you do this, like point the toe down. It will, it will like relax that muscle I find. So you'll walk around and do this. Again, I would highly advise if anyone is also doing this along with me uh, that you uh, focus uh, when it comes to breathing wise, uh, breathing exercises are lovely um, and the best advice I would ever give and again was to just focus on your exhale uh, and your body will find the inhale because it has to. Oh, also you'll have to forgive me, I, I'm not like the best at kettlebell swings, I'm still just getting into it. I've been doing them for like two or three weeks so I'm still trying to get my form down so be gentle with me. Again, when it comes to uh, what you call it, skipping, um, the best advice that I was given once again was to try to make as little movement as you possibly can. Um, so that means jump a very, very tiny bit off the ground um, and keep your chest and, and your shoulders pulled back and, and your, your should be mostly in your wrist and in the act of you doing that little hop that the cord should be propelled. Yes, yes. Also, side thing, I totally did not mean to get this weird camera angle with the mirror. Action, that's, yeah. Oh, and now it's gone, all right, well. We're about 20 minutes in, I'm not sure if you can hear the music real loud. I got a good, disgusting layer of sweat on my face. Um, what do you call it? Everything's gone fine. I feel good. I feel like I still got a lot of energy. Surprisingly, again, skipping's fun. So for me, it's given me a buff in terms of just joy. So yeah, just timing and all that stuff. Um, I probably, in the editing, explaining the benefits of skipping and how you should do it and all that stuff. Good. All right. Now, uh, well, I'll sure explain some more benefits of skipping. Again, um, I did read somewhere where like there was, again, I always try to look into like what is the best kind of cardio kind of thing as soon as I find something I like just to know what, if it's even worth it or if I should just put it with the pain and do the one I don't like just because it has such a massive benefit. Turns out we locked out on this one, uh, which if I'm not mistaken, and again, I could be, please correct me if I am, um, that skipping is two times better than running supposedly. Uh, and this is all a test done by Harvard and whatnot by seeing how much calories you burn on both kinds of things. Now, this was accounting for a one uh, minute set of skipping. So, skip for a minute straight and then give yourself a break. Skip for a minute straight, give yourself a break. Um, I don't know how long my sets are. Um, I'm kind of, again, th that's not the point of this necessarily. I wanted to create something that was like honest a little bit. So, again, when, as soon as I get tired, I just, or not tired, as soon as my, my muscle, my calf starts to lock up, I just give myself a break. I'm not trying to do that until completion or failure. I had sweat in my eyes. Oh. I got sweat in my eyes. Ah, my rhythm's gone. There we go.
just in case anyone's interesting, uh, interested, sorry, um, I tried to aim for around 16 reps with a 40, um, but I'm also thinking that I probably should go higher weight with less reps because I, I found my heart rate wasn't quite getting higher as I'm, than I'm used to. So yeah. Oh my God, I probably should start lowering the reps. I'm not trying to kill my muscle, I'm trying to keep my heart rate up. So probably for the best. But I'll check back in when we're about halfway there. All right, we're about halfway there. We are, sure we can focus in. We're about 32 minutes in. Please focus on the right thing, you crazy camera. Uh, yes, we are about halfway there. Uh, I'm going to now partake in one of my first drink of the elixir. I'm an asshole, it's just coffee, it's just coffee. Uh, yeah, it's just, I don't have pre-workout, just do black coffee and all that. Ah, and now to drink a boatload of water to counteract this. Back to it. By the way, I feel great. Like, I, I'm kind of, yeah, <laughs> I look like gross, but I actually feel fantastic. Yeah, because jumping rope, I think it promotes breathing really well, so you're not, like, strain that much. Uh, I don't know, swings to me are really easy because they use so much muscle that it feels light because you're using, like, five different types of muscles, so you don't, like, kill, you're not killing one, you know? Yeah. Also, hi, me and editing, this is kind of random. Um, I, uh, people always told me when they meet me that I'm tall. I never really got it. Now, maybe it's just the angles that I chose, but I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> That's what I look like from a third person, yeah? Yikes, <laughs> I'm all legs. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> stupid comment I just thought when I was watching the footage anyways. Fitness great, by the way. <laughs> Better than running and all that, supposedly. It also promotes rhythm, so your mind's basically focusing on that. Good, good. What am I about to say here? Music, sir. Got it. I'm, I turned down the music. Got it. Me. Got it. That's real loud. All right, well, I'm going to leave now for a bit. <laughs> Enjoy those skip. Holy shit, I don't... What the fuck? <laughs> I feel like this is so much hard. I'm making it so... It looks like I'm climbing up invisible steps. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not what I was intending to do. I was... Just, yeah. You're supposed to do little tiny hops. I'm just... <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm good at the one. Yeah, I've only really pra practiced the double jump one. That's the only one I got, like, good at decent rhythm in that I can accomplish. Uh, that and as well as a touch of speed if I, if I want to and that's another positive of skipping that, that kind of is like a subliminal thing a little bit but you can go it's same as running right like stanford what well, i think or sorry not stanford I'm not sure, whoever does like the uh, the statistical analysis of when you type into google how many calories do you burn in an hour when skipping they give you the average person of a study done by the average person going at a moderate pace um, because that's what they expect most people to do. Um, so that means if you run, if you're, if say if you're jogging, uh, you can run your ass off and burn that much more calories. Same thing uh, when you, when it comes to skipping, you can you can go that much more faster. But it's kind of interesting because kettlebell swings and skipping both are things that you can learn and become better, faster, stronger, better form, uh, increase speed. Um, but they're both things that you have to start off slow because they're pretty hard to understand and, and, and uh, you know do. So there is something that you can develop a skill in doing it, which is kind of nice and entertaining and also makes you feel better when it comes to, to being good at those set things. Whereas I do feel like there's somewhat a statue of limitations on rowing as well as running. Um, yeah, yeah, just, I'm not, that's kind of a thought, that's a, yeah, I'm not sure about that accuracy wise, but that's the gist that I just wanted to think about. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> yeah. We're at 46 minutes. We're getting close. Come here, it's a cloud. We're running out of camera space. We'll be back at the end. 
By the way, for anyone who's judging me on my music taste, uh, this is not my idealistic world either. Uh, I, I like techno a little bit, but this is a little much. Uh, yeah, this is a royally free playlist, so you get what you can take, my dude. <laughs> So that was an hour. Um, I'm a bit pissed <laughs> because I have, uh, what do you call it? I think, and okay, so first of all, <laughs> before we even get into it, here's the, here's the damage. Uh, if we go over here to end this exercise, we'll get like a little chart. Uh, we'll name the workout and all that. It says we have active calories is five to 60. And total calories is 666, so that's a fucking weird thing. <laughs> Anyways, also my average heart rate was 147, um, range was 174, which is my your 8% of your max heart rate, which you probably got in those uh, one periods. Ah, the periods where we were doing kettlebell swings. Yeah. Um, here's the thing, it's kind of weird. Um, first of all, maybe this thing would be different if I wore this thing the whole day, because maybe that is a part of the algorithm or something. Uh, I just put it on the minute I started exercising. Um, the second thing is, I do, well, it doesn't account for the, the fact that we're doing a weight exercise, which is breaking down the muscles in your leg, your lower back, and your stomach, um, and your, I think, shoulders, maybe? We're not supposed to really lift with your shoulders when you're doing swings, but still. Um, so it should, does, that doesn't account for the fact that we're gonna be, it's gonna be repairing um, our muscle with calories and protein and all that stuff, so that's gonna take away calories as well. Um, the other thing that's just confusing, like bewildering to me, is I know, I, I did this beforehand while I was just rowing. Uh, so I rowed, I think, for like 40 minutes. Um, and I know rowing is, is less better than jump rope. Um, so, uh, sorry, so when I did my rowing uh, test, and I did it for like 30 minutes, I burned, I think it was like a 1,028, a 280 um, calories when rowing or something like that. Maybe it was for an hour. Regardless. Um, so, but, but I know jump rope is two time or way, way better than rowing because rowing, I think, rowing, I think running or running's a little bit better than rowing, I think. Um, but I know jump rope is two times better than running or like jogging and all that stuff. So I, I don't know. That's weird. So to me, I think I want to do a redemption of this exercise. Um, when I get like a Fitbit tracker kind of thing, because this is two years old, um, and there's no setting for it to say, I am specifically doing a jump rope exercise. So I think it's just going off my heart rate, which isn't enough to say, like, like there's studies showing that like jump rope and in, in this, because you're activating your leg muscles, the biggest muscle in your body, it's demanding tons to repair, um, all these things, it's gonna have that causality. But please, if anyone has a Fitbit um, and like a better calorie tracker, um, then please, uh, if you would, wouldn't mind, uh, one of your days uh, where you wanna burn off some calories, try this out, cable swings in combination with jump rope, because uh, I've never sweated more, um, but I will say this, I probably talked about it while I was doing it because we have limited time here. I don't want to burn up my, my memory. But um, the notion of like jump rope is so amazing because you're like your, your, your chest is open if you're doing it properly. Um, and you're just in taking so much oxygen and you feel rhythmic so it, time just bleeds by like crazy. Especially if you're a person that likes to uh, listen to music um, and not just like read a book or watch a movie. Um, the rhythm nature of it all is really awesome. Um, and to me, it's just entertaining. Uh, it's really entertaining, and also it. I feel like uh, I, I, this maybe is just me, but I have kind of like an abnormal f feeling, like feet, basically. So I can like really feel every single muscle in my foot perfectly well. Like I'm not sure if you guys seen, but I'm getting like two, like a half inch of clearance sometimes when I'm doing my rope jumping, because I just have that much. I know how much to push off to clear perfectly. Um, but yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see because yeah, I, I definitely want to do a redemption of this because I, I just can't see it doing f what is it like six six sixty six hundred sorry calories burned in an hour. That's nuts. Um, and I got like way way more when rowing, um, but there's actually a setting in here that shows rowing because I think um, that what do you call it this old ass watch. Um, there's like studies done by I think it was Stanford maybe. 
some study somewhere which shows if you do this exercise for this amount of time um, with these muscle groups firing, it nets you this above, like across the board more or less for most people who are exercising. Um, and there's, there's those same studies for, for uh, skipping rope. So for me, I wanna see what those combinations are. Um, but to me, um, ever since I've been doing swings, just in general on top of my normal workout, and ever since I started skipping, um, I've been shredding pounds like crazy. So, and I don't even wanna do that. <laughs> Um, uh, which, which, yeah. So I don't know, to me, um, I think it's a fantastic way to burn calories. Again, I wanna do a redemption of this because it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, again, we'll do a redemption of this when I, I invest some money in like a Fitbit thing uh, that has an app that, can, that has a setting that is skipping. Um, but even then, I don't think that accounts, it only accounts for the skipping aspect of it and not the fact that you're breaking down a giant muscle like your legs or your tushy and your back and your stomach. Um, by doing those swings, and that's gonna have to, that's a giant muscle that your body's gonna have to spend protein to prepare. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I'll probably try to include this um, at the ending part before I give, or maybe after I'm, I've reacted and been like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what, what, what is happening with these, like, the tiniest amount of calories burned? Uh, when I've, like, gotten to 2,000 in one day just because I'm a, a, a stupid idiot who <laughs> wanted to see how much you get. Regardless, um, so, um, I'm editing this video and I was like, okay, well, we, there's gotta be, I don't want to end you with you guys on that, um, on like the idea of us burning, what is it, like 600 calories, which is nothing to me, because, <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'm annoyed, <laughs> regardless. Uh, so I wanted to look into, to again, those statistics just to give you guys an understanding of what's going on, because the more I thought about it, the more I'm setting myself up for failure. Um, we're not ca accounting the, uh, the uh, kettlebell exercise, because there's nothing that really says that, but apparently there is. Um, which we'll get to. Um, so instead, we're going to go over uh, basically how much first do you lose in terms of if you were to dedicate an hour to skipping. Now, not dedicate a full hour. Uh, you'll have certain rest periods. And the idea of my exercise routine that we did today um, is instead of those rest periods, you would do kettlebell swings, um, which I thought maybe would be too much. But I, I mean, I, I also have been exercising for quite a while. So it might that probably <laughs> has something to do with it. But regardless, um, how much calories you actually burn, um, it shows right here. Um, again, I'm just going to read these off to you guys. You guys can just type into Google how much uh, calories do you burn on jump rope for an hour or an hour of jump rope. How much hour calories do you burn? Regardless, um, it says a 155 pounded person uh, burnt 744 calories in an hour span and a 190 uh, pound person burned 88 calories per hour of jumping rope. Um, so boom, that is how much uh, you burn from apparently jumping rope. Uh, so yes, which honestly, that in terms of jump rope does kind of add up to what we've seen on our watch. It's a little bit under uh, what we did um, in terms of the hour long span, but that's not the crazier part. Uh, the jump rope helps with, with calf. Uh, also, I didn't mention that. Uh, yeah, the idea of us doing jump rope, it activates your calf muscle, um, your butt muscle, and I believe your, your arms and shoulders. Uh, your, your, sorry, your wrists and shoulders. Those are the muscle things that it activates, which the calf is a, a good one because most men don't have that big of calves and it's a good kind of antidote for that. Regardless, um, that's another thing that uh, took my breath away. Um, I looked up, just because I was curious, um, how, how much do you burn from kettlebell swings? Um, so I typed in exactly how many calories do you burn from doing kettlebell swings in an hour? Um, and it said this, um, an average person, on average, a person can burn up to 15 to 20 calories in a minute, uh, depending on their ability and level of experience in kettlebell workouts. Yes, yes, yes. Um, the maximum one can do um, is to burn 1,212 calories. Um, and this is only possible if you um, complete 250 to 300 swings in an hour with a weight that is 25 or 30. Um, and then I went to more into the article and it says um, a big contributing factor of this, the first of all, um, it is the size of the kettlebell which makes the most difference. Yes, yeah, so how, how much it weighs in the size of the kettlebell is a giant difference in terms of the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the amount. So if you can go beyond... 25 to 30, which we were doing a 40 uh, uh, swing kettlebell, and I did a lot of swings. Regardless, even if you were even if we're halving this, um, which I do, I went into. I think I also looked to see if maybe it was like, is this motherfucker doing like a thousand? Or sorry, just like non-stop doing kettlebells with no rest periods? Cause that's a fucking lot of calories. 
Um, so I looked into it, and what do you call it? it? Says on average, a person can burn 15 to 20 calories a minute, depending on the ability and level experience. Credible data. Um, the maximum one can burn is that many. Where was it? It said the final verdict right here. Um, the only uh, way to burn more calories by uh, swinging a kettlebell is to use a heavy one. In a session of 10 to 14 minutes, uh, work for 20 seconds and then take a rest for 10 seconds. That's, I mean, I think our rest period from jumping rope was a little bit longer. But again, even if it's half of, uh, of the 1,212 um, we, but we also had a bigger weight, so that could probably add to our thing as well. Probably not enough to take up the account of us basically doing more or j jumping rope for a good bit of time. Um, but also, jumping rope burns calories. So, I can't see you not burning a pretty fucking giant amount of calories with doing both of the, these in tandem. Again, I'm blown away at the amount of calories you can burn from kettlebell swings. Uh, but again, that's because you're burning them probably throughout the entire day you're also ripping to shreds not ripping to shreds you're just breaking down a giant muscle in the human body which is your legs your your butt and your your stomach and your back that's three pretty big muscle groups especially the, the your legs and thighs and butt um is a giant muscle group for it to tear apart and then throughout the day be using proteins and calories to piece it back together so that's also where that calorie burning is coming from um but yeah no, this to me seems nutty like even if we were just to be like super idealistic and maybe do what is it like a hundred one hour an hour and a half of exercise and we did um an hour of a skipping in total more or less that would add up to and what do you call it uh kettlebell swings again they did it with the tiniest weight which was 20 uh to 30 um which they said that if you increase the the, the weight of your kettlebell that does uh, increase the amount of calories that you do burn so crazy yeah so like in a, an idealistic world where you did like the best um but then again i think if you're an active person you're you're, you're like you're not just doing this but maybe one time in the week you're also uh doing weightlifting exercises so you're adding more of that muscle fatigue uh you're burning 2908 um calories and that's just not to say that you couldn't go for longer like again an hour and a half of just doing this back and forth i think would net you a pretty good amount of calorie loss um, yeah, and again, even if you half that, that's pretty fucking good still. The fact that you're able to burn 1,500 calories in half, um, what do you call it, uh, in an hour, uh, that's insane. So yes, I think I'll definitely be doing this again. Again, I still do think I'll make a redemption video of us getting a, like a Fitbit thing, or as well as, uh, just like a better form of tracking your calorie burn. Uh, but that's insane. I never thought that, that kettlebell swings would be that hefty. Uh, and again, maybe there's different studies. Maybe the study I'm re reading is rigged. Um, again, just my, my my argument is just try it. Uh, please let us let us put our minds together and try to see if this is as uh, godly <laughs> as I'm toting it to be. Uh, your experience may vary, so that's also something. But anyways, regardless, me uh, in, in sweaty gross land, take it away. So for me, it's it's kind of up in the air and a bit a bit finicky. Uh, but alas, ladies and gentlemen, oh, you're so close. You're so close. You're able to see all my imperfections. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, uh, maybe once upon a time, uh, at some point, oh, you can see my, my brothers behind me, oh no, <laughs> regardless, um, at some point or another, we will most definitely, uh, I'll probably take you guys on a workout of like us doing our weightlifting routine, just in case there's anyone who is getting into weightlifting, and just not weightlifting, sorry, exercise at large, uh, because of the new year. Um, and wants to kind of have a jumping board slash a person that's excited about exercise and still loves it to pieces after doing it for four or five years and is only getting more in love with it. The more I do it, especially after doing these kettlebell swings and the jump rope, um, have just given me so much energy um, in the day that it's actually becoming a hindrance. Like I'm having trouble sleeping again because I have so much oomph in my step and usually I deplete myself. Uh, but now my, my heart's expanding because I'm doing those swings and those intervals that I've talked about in the previous part. Uh, so I have just generally more energy. Again, I could do, I, I will say, um, I've only jumped, did the jump rope thing four times uh, in total. Um, and I will say, the first time I did it, um, my calves were on fire. And I just did it for an hour. Um, and maybe just because I got really okay at like knowing how to perfectly compress my, my, my calf and knowing how to like mix and match aspect, my, like my, the right part of my calf to my left part of my calf, um, to flexing my hips a little bit sometimes, just to get better leverage. So I wasn't just... Uh, what do you call it? I wasn't just depleting the whole thing. Like I was able to kind of give a, a rest 
to, to the calf and then you by using other things. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I will say that. Or, or maybe it's just the fact that you do it enough, your muscle gets warm and gets better at firing. I have not the slightest idea. What I do know is I'm a sweaty mess that needs a shower really, really badly. Thank you so much for your time. Hopefully, you guys, uh, if you guys again have a Fitbit and you want to beat me in this race uh, to do it, uh, please let me know how it works. Let me know how much calories are burnt. Uh, by doing this exercise because I don't have the, the tools at my disposal to fully see. Uh, but I do. I will make an update on this um, and I will, we will do that. We will do that. Also, I might show you guys some other cardio stuff like a, a boxing, which I love to pieces as well. Regardless, thank you so much for your time. Um, hopefully this helps person on our Discord who was asking how to burn fat, skipping hella great swings, jacking your heart rate so you don't waste time. Um, also, it also breaks down muscle in, in your in your body, which can re repair itself over time, which is also calories being burned. Good, good. Thank you so much for your time, ladies and gentlemen, and goodbye.